Hey everyone, in this video, I'd like to introduce you to Discord, a free all-in-one voice and text chat designed just for gamers. Let's get right into it. I want to take a bit of time and show everyone what is quickly becoming one of my favorite new apps. If you haven't heard of Discord yet, it's basically Skype, TeamSpeak, and Slack all combined, but it's actually designed with gamers in mind. This video will have a quick overview and initial setup of the app, how to set up your own server and manage permissions, and then finally, how to join channels and manage some of your user settings. Okay, so to start, let's head over to discordapp.com. One of the first things you're gonna notice is the Try Discord Now button. This will actually open the app in your browser, but let's not worry about that just yet. We can scroll down and see a full list of features that the app promotes, and this includes stuff like DDoS protection for all of you streamers out there, minimal CPU usage, which I can say after using this app for a while, I can tell it's extremely quick and light on resources, and then the ability to manage permissions, which is perfect for any guilds or groups of gamers out there. Now, I wanna recommend checking out the rest of the website because there's a lot of awesome things you can do and features that are coming soon, such as using slash commands to post game results and DPS meters. But let's actually hop into how to set the app up. All you need to do is click the Try Discord Now button. Register in about 10 seconds and that's pretty much it. You'll be prompted with a walkthrough of all the features, which I definitely recommend taking the time to check out but for now, I'm gonna skip it and show you guys how to use it without that. The app runs in your browser, but it also has an independent application that you can actually download. While the browser app is quick and works very well, it's a bit limited, so I'm gonna set up the full app. Currently, it's available for Mac OS X, PC, Apple iOS, and Android, with Linux coming soon. And by the way, the mobile app is pretty awesome and impressive, so if you have a smartphone, I definitely recommend checking it out. Once you've downloaded the full app, launch it and then log in. Let's go ahead and set up a server. And if you just logged in for the first time, you're probably prompted with something that says create or join server. But since I already logged in once, I'm gonna simply click the plus in the top left and hit create a server. I'm gonna name mine nerd or die dash tests and pop in an icon that I'd like to use for my server and then select my region of US East after I hit create, that's it, we're ready to rock. If you'd like to, right from the start, you can click the instant invite button, then tweet or copy the link and share it with anyone you'd like to have access to your server. But let's check out some of the server settings before we continue. Click the menu icon next to your server name and hit server settings. This is where we're gonna see our general server settings. The overview gives us a quick glance at our server info, plus the ability to select an AFK channel, Instant Invites shows us codes for any of our invite links and the ability to revoke access to them. Members will allow us to see anyone invited to the server, which will then allow us to kick or ban users or even apply roles such as guild leader, officers, etc. And you can also prune or remove any inactive members here. The next section, Roles, is probably the most important one. This section allows you to set the default roles for all of your channels on the server. You can actually customize individual channel roles as well, but for the server setting area, we're managing the defaults for all the channels. So for example, if we wanna disable text-to-speech by default for all the user roles, we can simply uncheck the option here, and all new channels that we create will not allow users to use text-to-speech unless we individually activate it for that channel in the roles. I'll get a bit more into that soon, but before we leave though, I'm gonna make a new role called Officers and then go back to the Members tab and assign the Officer role to one of my members. The last settings we can look at is the Ban section, which shows any band members which we can manage here, and then the Widget section, which allows us to put a widget on any website that can show active users in an individual channel and even enable the Instant Invite option. This will allow users to connect by clicking a link in the widget. Now that we have all the server settings covered, let's look at individual channels. We can see that there are text channels and voice channels. By default, we have a general channel made, which I prefer to leave open for any users that I invite. We can add a new text or voice channel by simply clicking the plus and then giving the channel a name. Like before, we can use this instant invite button to share a link with anyone we'd like to invite. But let's look at the channel settings. 
To do so, click the gear by the channel that we want to manage. The overview tab shows the name and topic of the channel, and then instant invites works just like it did before. And the permissions section is where we can customize user roles and permissions per channel. So for this new text channel, which I called officer chat, let's say I want this to only be available for certain members on the server. The everyone role will show permissions for all users. For each permission, the gray dash means that it inherits your general server settings. The red X means it denies this permission for the selected role. And then the green check means that it allows the permission. So first, I'm going to deny the ability to read messages for everyone in this channel. Next, I'm going to add the officer's role to this channel. And then from here, I can then individually assign permissions for the officers that are in this channel. I'll allow them to read messages. Now, only officers can read messages in this channel, and everyone else on the server can't even see it. The voice channel works exactly the same way. You can easily add a new channel if you'd like, disable or enable permissions for the everyone role, and assign individual roles with their own permissions. Basically, during the time that it took for me to say all this, I set up a voice chat channel for my guild officers. Now that we've covered setting up a server, let's look into what we can do as users. And by the way, we're only going to scratch the surface here. If you haven't yet already, you can join a server by clicking an instant invite link and launching the application, or you can click the plus and enter the link here, then just hit join. I do want to note that swapping to and from multiple servers is extremely easy and you can actually do so in just one click and that's right here on the left. Anyways, I'm already connected to my nerd or die test server and I want to start with the user settings. Click the gear icon by your name here at the bottom and we'll see our general information. We can change our username, email, password, and avatar here or even log out of the app at the bottom of this little section. Next, we can set up how text and images will appear in the app, and also if we want to hear playback of text-to-speech. In voice, you can specify an input and output device, as well as manage your volumes. You can also set up a push-to-talk key with your preferred keybind, or leave it on voice activity, both of which I found work pretty well. The advanced tab here has some voice processing options and attenuation which basically lowers the volume of other applications when someone is speaking in Discord. The notification section allows us to set up which sounds play and when, as well as when the desktop notifications appear for certain events. The keybind section allows us to set up specific keybinds for events like toggle mute and toggle deafen. Privacy allows us to disable the status message of when you're playing a game, which can be seen by users connected to a channel you're in. And finally, appearance allows us to switch between light and dark themes. I'd like to quickly mention that the app is actually planning on releasing more themes and sticker packs that will serve as cosmetic purposes only. Purchasing these cosmetic items is how you'll actually support the app in the future, and they'll be completely optional. Once your settings are how you'd like them, we can hop into any text channel by just simply clicking the one we'd like to enter and then just chatting away. You'll see all chat messages here in the middle. You can use things like slash TTS for text-to-speech. You can even post links or insert attachments. As I mentioned before, there's a lot you can actually do in the chat channels, so make sure to check out the Discord website for a full range of features. To join a voice channel, simply click the one you'd like to enter, and that's about it. We can see the status of our connection above our username, and then we can also click the disconnect button here. On the right, you'll see all online users that are connected to the channel, and you'll have the ability to control their individual volume, direct message them, mute them, deafen, or even kick and ban them if you have the capability. One thing that I thought was really impressive was that you can actually be in a voice channel on one server while joining a text channel on another. I actually didn't realize this until I was making this video, but for a person like me that kind of hops around a lot and plays different games, I thought it was actually a really awesome feature. Well, that about wraps everything up that I wanted to cover over this setup guide for Discord and the general overview. As I mentioned before, I really love this app so far and I highly recommend it. I can't wait to dive into it a bit more and find out some of the cool stuff that I can do with this app. 
In the comments below, I'd like to know what you guys are using for your voice chat or even what you think of the app. And of course, if you have any questions about this video, please ask them there as well, or you can direct them to me on Twitter. Thanks again to all my viewers. You guys really rock. And if you like this video, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe for more from Nerd or Die. Thanks for watching.